Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you going to do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Gotta find another one. I believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Wait. Ah, go crap. Was I want to tag that guy? Shoo, 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 get out of here. That was close. The 
Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying and to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even talking this, about? Reggie? Why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna share us from. It to really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. How's the military doing here? Uh, Holy shit, ooh. dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, man. you all right? Oh, hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, no. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Fine, Reggie. The hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Hey. Hey. Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. I gotta get through here. What is going on? Reggie! Reg! Reggie! Right? You okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Yeah. Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Just a little more. I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Get out there. There is a pilot here, so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay, come on. I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing. Okay? Because it's not. 
Sheriff, we can't get in. The button's jammed. I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Tribe hears about you, there's gonna be a panic. Fine, go. Control the mobs. Right, I'm, I'm coming back with help. See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist. And be careful. I don't know what those freaks are capable of. Yeah. Those freaks. I gotta do something. Betty needs me. There's got to be some way inside. Vents. Good to know. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Where are you, Betty? Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help no, you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Stop. Delson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. But that also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. around inside my head. It was me? I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere. Until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, 
But you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of run for your life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I'm not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. Day you face coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. Diversion tops! I gotta get now! Ain't going back to Curtin K! Yeah, well... Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop it! Talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. Is a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get... Nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share. Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. <laughs> That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Well, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights. And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there. No, Betty, don't. Really? Still nothing. Well. Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I 
caught it a second ago from from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God. Telson. Ah! So Betty. Maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Wake up! What's going on here? They turned the longhouse into a hospital? How long have I been out? Oh my god. How could anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? could stop her. Oh my god. Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. You can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. It matters is I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm hmm. You'll see. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the 
hands? Is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? Right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this, and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only... The only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech conduit power buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Del, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely- Are you kidding me? This is amazing! What? <laughs> This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post of pop. Yeah, this must be the mothership. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep, new. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. 
Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, all right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's this it. is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go play to... super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit forming. We're still using that. Oh, maybe I just need to refill the smoke tank. Good to go. Yeah, this should do the trick. Ooh, man, once we hit the city, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for more of those things. I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Just get up I... here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that's stuck. I'm trying to convince them to just abandon the bus. But they don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Nelson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. This is gonna take forever. There's gotta be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Rich. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Nelson, I'm not... Ah, lost you. Have to hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. We got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let him walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go, sir. Just give me a second. Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you. All right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. tracking on your phone in case we get separated oh you mean like right now
Attention. The scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge by order of the DUP will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Huh. Sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so... Is you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Oh, shit! A bioterrorist! Hey! Hey! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Hey, hey, look, man, I just wanna get through the tunnel. Okay, okay, I'll give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. Coming, Reg. Come on, core relay, work your magic. Another shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, okay, easy.
Reggie? Dalson. What's this I hear about you and your brother taking off for Seattle? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay. You just be careful. And have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> Hold still. Yeah, you know, Dalson. We're almost across. Devil's Bridge? Boss. Reggie! That a pitching army, huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. I can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So normal? You know. No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We can take these look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? Look, these DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have. The government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up to... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies, and try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. It might spook them when I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. Registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Of course. Hey, he's won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends.
That's two out of three. Delson, run! The hell with that! It's not good to keep things bottled up. Delson, stay behind cover! Don't tell me how to fight! I'm fine. It's dandy. But just like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. hit the spot. Turn to your homes immediately, or we will open fire. Use the force off the line to repel civilians' attack. Gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. You're not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Uh, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communications gear on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. Blow out enough of those. The core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it. Man, that feels good.
Find the main power core? It should be on top. Short and sweet. Be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys.
about you, big fella? No time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. Reg, I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in San... Save the rest of your life. Wow. Not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted. No ferries going in or out. Or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. This is not going to be easy, is it? Yeah, it's too bad I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, uh, that can't be it. good about this one. Suck on this! You know secondhand smoke is bad for you.
Man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make him underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit him. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to him, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Spoil the surprise when it happens. <laughs> Good point. Tasty. They got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way's not an option. This better work. It freaking worked! That was awesome! Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Yeah, well, that's how martial law works. You control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Look out below!
Not bad, huh? Oh, you want to see it again? Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, I need more! No, man, that's all you get. And this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Hey, Reg. Hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduit, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. had those things locked down. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit, like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. Even the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? Alive, which is cool. Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg, I'm just looking for. An answer. Man, this stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hey there. It's Betty. Where are you? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh. I'll, I'll try back later, then. Bring me a postcard. <laughs> okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye-bye, Aren't you a sight for sore eyes?
This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. Upward. Going. You're almost to the top. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. That must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Rex, man, they got a small army up here. Good. We are in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delta. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. You know what they say about secondhand smoke? improvement. I don't think this is gonna cut it. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. Oh, 
This is going to be epic! See? That wasn't so bad. Isn't that better? Woo! That's a rush. It goes away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Did you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, all right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the space needle, man! You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. It's cool. What's it? I'm not sure. The Banner Man got away before the Duke reinforcements got here. Delson, I've been asking around about the escaped bioterrorists. Do you think I maybe need like a PR guy? What, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, people here are starting to call me the Banner Man, which A is unbelievably lame. Uh, maybe not the best idea you hanging around the Space Needle right now. Well, I mean, why not Smoke Tastic Man? Or... Look. I'll keep trying to get a lead on the escape bioterrorists. Why don't you see if you can disrupt other DUP operations around there until I get back to you?
A man, a plan, and an aerosol can. Yeah, who's this? Raymond Wolf, the reporter. Whoa, like the Raymond Wolf, the, the the guy who cracked the military's real involvement with the Empire City catastrophe? Good, you've heard of me. That'll make this easier. I need your help. Get to Sundial Park and I'll tell you more about it. All right, man, I'm here. Uh, so what do you need? My editor has been captured by the DUP. He's being questioned yeah, as we speak. I'm still looking into where he's being held, but in the meantime, I need you to pick up my most recent story. The DUP are looking for it, and I don't want it falling into their hands. Sure, man. Uh, how, how do I find it? The markers of the drop site are a series of fish stickers I placed to point the direction. Just follow the fish stickers.
done. Cole's Gift, Short-Lived or Just Beginning, by Raymond Wolf. It's common knowledge that when Cole McGrath died, he not only cured the plague that was sweeping the world, but took every conduit with him to his grave. What we didn't know was that this would be temporary. Within a year, rumors emerged of the return of the conduit gene. Some believe that the plague had survived and mutated, this time creating conduits rather than killing normals. Some believe that not all the conduits were actually killed, and Keeping were somehow tops. able to spread their abilities. I've personally looked into both of these urban legends and have yet to find proof of either of them, which is why I'm here in Seattle. I believe the DUP know more than they're letting on. Wow, that was informative. That's why I'm here. There's more to this story, and I think Augustine and the DUP have the key. I'm going to need your help to figure it out. I'll be in touch. Uh, thanks, or uh, you're welcome, I guess. Delson, I may have a lead on one of the bioterrorists who escaped from the bus crash. Fine, lay it on me. I'm still at the station. Not a great place to talk. Uh, I'll meet you at 4th and Vickers.
Say good night. Thank you. 